<laughs> Hi, I'm Dan Merkin. I live at 3159 College Street in Jacksonville, Florida. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit about, I, I really was hoping you would uh, consider moving forward on this resolution tonight. Uh, I have a copy of the, uh, the House bill in front of me here. It's Bill 239. It's pretty much the exact same language as 348. And I just want to say that really when you look at this bill, all it does is it provides a definition for sexual orientation, provides a definition for gender identity and expression, and it adds the words sexual orientation, gender identity, and expression into all the places where current law already exists. That's all it does. It enumerates it and it puts it into to, uh, policy. And so um, what it does is for a person like myself, I'm already covered on the basis of race, color, religion, sex, national origin, age. All these things are already have been in law for some time. They're already in place. Those protections are already there. So what this bill does is nothing really new. All it does is expand those protections to cover us other aspects of our being. Because everyone in this room has a sexual orientation, everybody in this room has a gender identity, and they all express that identity somehow. And so I'm really uh, encouraging you to rethink uh, what that means. Because what this bill does is protects all of us, not just on some parts of us, but our whole being. And I think that is really uh, why it's important that we do this. And it's important to know that uh, we are going to be in a community where we can be our full authentic selves and not just be protected on parts of who we are. So uh, again, I'd like you to, to think about that. I also want you to know that you know um, there have already been 17 states that passed this law or a similar version, you know, something very similar to this where they protect gender identity. It's 20 plus states that have covered sexual orientation. States have already done this. Uh, the first, you know, there's, I'm going I'm to give you this, this is my copy, but I'll give you another one. This is a municipal equality index. And it, it shows where cities, similar to Neptune and Atlantic, Beach, and whatever, you know, in here because you're too small, but uh, it looks at cities all across the country that have passed these types of policies. And what we know is over 180 have included uh, gender identity and expression protections, and they're in their human rights ordinances. And these are cities like big and small all across the country, you know. And I'm going to give you this copy and uh, encourage you to look through that, and you can get a real feel and understanding of um, how these laws have been uh, passed everywhere, and, and that they're they're really nothing to be frightened about. They really are just real common, basic sense protections about discrimination. Um, you know, that people should be respected for who they are in all aspects of who they are. Um, so I'm going to leave this with you. And um, again, I hope you reconsider uh, the resolution to, uh, to think about that and just think about that really, um, you know, it, it's, a, it, it's, it's a time for this to happen um, so that we can all live and be ourselves. Uh, any, Lisa, you have any more? Yes. 